Bill Shannon for God in three, two, one, begin. I come before you tonight, brothers and sisters, to defend the proposition that God is greater than devil. Now, this is a proposition I happen to believe with all my heart. But my believing it to be so, my wish that it be so, don't make it so. As someone's granddaddy used to say, wish in one hand and shit in the other, see which one fills up first. <laughs> no, I can in no way defend God's greatness through means so simplistic as my own personal testimony. All I can do to make my case is relate a small tale for you. A story the veracity of which has been vouched to me on the most reliable of authorities. Indulge me now. <laughs> God and devil, it seems, were whiling away the hours together, as is their wont. When devil says to God, he says, God, you ain't so great, you know? <laughs> and God, God leaves off blowing clouds into phantasmagorical shapes and leans back and says, never said I was, devil. And devil smirks and says, God, I say you ain't just not so great. I say you ain't great at all. And God, because God knows devil's wily ways, nods thoughtfully. And God says, devil, I do believe I hear a wager in the offing. <laughs> and God says, devil says, he smiles and says, no wager here on my life. And God says, because I know you recollect the time Mr. Daniel Webster handed you that smoking red ass of yours, and I know you know I'm a greater being than Daniel Webster. <laughs> I know it well, says old devil, and I know you're smarter too. So no, that ain't no wager, just an observation. And God, God just raises those magnificent eyebrows until devil, discomfited, clears his throat and points. All right. All right, he says, devil says, if you must know, I've been thinking on your Somali children, how they wither and starve far from home in yonder refugee encampments. My thoughts, too, bend toward them often, says God. And devil, he says, but your thoughts, God, offer no food, no shade, no iota of comfort. If you truly were great, would you not cut off the littlest of your toes? and offer it to me that I might carry your nourishing flesh to those in such great need that they might be fed. And God says, devil, you speak true. And God, God breaks off the littlest of the divine toes and hands it to devil and says, take this my flesh and feed my children who hunger. Forthwith, says devil, who speeds himself to earth, but devil, out of his pockets, he takes nigh unto billions of bushels of grain and deposits it with God's Somali children. And the toe, God's toe, he pops it in his mouth and swallows. <laughs> and devil, he returns to God and he says, Lo, your Somali children are fed. God, God says, devil, it is well. But before God can take up with the clouds again, devil, he says, Yet still am I troubled, God, for do your North Korean children not yet starve in their cities and their towns? When could not the littlest of your fingers feed them and their progeny for years to come? Devil, says God, you speak true. And God breaks off the littlest of the divine fingers and hands it to devil and says, take this, my flesh, and feed my children who hunger. Forthwith, says devil, who speeds himself to earth, and devil, he feeds God's North Korean children from his own pockets, but God's finger, he swallows himself. And devil, he returns to God and says, lo, are your North Korean children fed? And God says, devil, it is well. But devil, he's not done, for God's Afghani children do yet starve, and God's Appalachian children, and God's Bosnian children, and so it goes, nation after nation, part after part, until devil, he's fed all the children of earth and eaten up all of God, but God's red beating heart. And now devil, he picks up that heart of God and raises it high. And devil says, who's greater now, God? 
for in I fed all the children of earth and eaten you right up in the bargain. The devil pops that beaten heart down his throat. He swallows it right down. And now suddenly, devil, he can't breathe so well, being that God's warm arms are tight around him. And God, she lets go of devil and steps back. And God, she says, did you not do my work, devil, and feed my children? And was I not inside you already, even as you're inside me, and as we are both inside all our children? And devil, he hangs his head and says, God, you speak true. And brothers and sisters, may God strike me dead if she ain't still as great as the day we made each other. Amen. <laughs> now it's time for our final choosing. Judges, please take a seat. Are you ready to make your decision? Yes. 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 There's several people ready over here. There's a pocket of arm readiness right here. <laughs> All right, but we're going to go anyway. Here we go. Who among you believes that Stephanie Lane was the victor of this battle? Go! Yeah. So, justice will serve. 